Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take, oops, oh, okay. We are going to take a look at the vSmart Aries Android 11 port for a Redmi Note 5 Pro. So, with a, wow, a really nice start to the video. Uh, so, let's start without wasting any more time. So guys, this is the vSmart OS and I don't know what it is called, but yeah, I'm calling it a vSmart OS. And it is ported from the vSmart uh, Aries device. Let's take a look at the about phone here. And it says device vSmart Aries. You can name it your name. It will say personalize your device at the setup screen. Then model ARIS. So yeah, vSmart Aries. And yes, this is, this is called a VOS 4.0. And I have earlier reviewed the VOS 3 ports and they are, you know, quite unique. It's based on AOSP, obviously, you can see all the settings and all that stuff is truly resembling the AOSP feel and, uh, yeah, like the, no, the basic feel. And yes, here you can see uh, the kernel used is the extended kernel and I don't know why I shifted the order, but yeah, here we go. Android version 11, then system play update, uh, but uh, let's see, the security update is 1 December 2020, so it is uh yeah obviously the latest then the kernel extended again and the build number is total jingle bells so yeah okay jingle jingle bells so guys uh, the vos is just another skinned os over aosp so let's take a look at the features now uh, i have to you know shift the device like this okay so this is the settings ui and as you can see the change is done if you remember vos 3 Actually, I don't remember the settings. So yeah, you can just compare that if you remember and you can watch the older VOS 3 port videos. I have maybe made it on my Redmi Note 5 Pro 2, but I have made a video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So if you have that device, you can check that video out in the ROM too. And here we go. Uh, let's take a look at the display options. And here we have these options, the normal dark theme and all that stuff. And yeah, you can see it is a USB uh, forked, like, yeah, like just like Samsung and all that things, they just add skins, but Samsung's done it like pretty great because you cannot identify it is over USB, but it is actually over USB. Yeah, I hope you, I hope you get it what I'm saying, but yeah, this is uh, pretty much different uh, than that Samsung and all thing. It's not a big OEM, so yeah. It's done some skinning thing and this is uh, the three button navigation present and you can also change the order and you can switch to gesture navigation and this is how it is done uh, just like AOSP so that's great okay yeah it's AOSP so it will be like AOSP uh, it's not compulsory like other OEMs do but yeah it's just like AOSP so if you have used AOSP ROMs then there will be no difficulty in operating these and then we go always on display does not work so just turn it off then hide notch we don't have a notch so there's no need to touch that thing too and yeah friendly mode simple and friendly user interface uh, this could be a light mode uh, let's see what it actually is oh what is this okay uh, this is a light mode okay Okay, this is some assistant like thing and let's see how to disable it's in Vietnamese language. So I will just disable it and let you guys know how to do that because now I'm not getting the setting part to disable this. Uh, okay, guys, so I have got the option to finally disable the friendly mode. If you know Vietnamese language, if you are from Vietnam, then you won't have any problem in using the phone. But yeah, if you are uh from any other country and if you are using english language or any other language then you may get into trouble uh this is the button it says friendly and you just have to click ok and it will uh, return to the normal mode so yeah that's how to uh, fuck up into the video and then tell the users not to yeah you can learn from this so yeah let's continue with the proper part of the video now now moving into lock screen and biometrics, uh, you get fingerprint option, we have smart lock, uh, screen lock, you can set if you want fingerprint, let's set the fingerprint and actually the fingerprint works, I don't know why I did not set it up right at the first place, uh, let me just skip this uh, fingerprint, oh shit, this, I'm so bad at this. And guys the fingerprint sensor works fine, yeah, it's yeah just like uh, the USB ROMs, it works and uh, it uh, does not have face unlock i guess it's dead it was confirmed by the developer and yeah you won't get face unlock here because it is removed in actually so yeah you won't get that uh, here 
uh, then we have just basic sound and notification stuff and yeah you have that uh, security privacy normal stuff we have battery this is the user interface you can also show battery percentage and yeah digital webbing just normal usb stuff everything is present in here uh, uh, why are you, why are you going there so yeah you also have tap to wake and the other basic uh, things so as you can see tap to wake works with the vibration so if you want you can just disable vibration and then you won't get the tap to wake vibration feel and all that stuff and about the camera app there is no camera app so you can install uh, maybe uh, you can install a gcam try a gcam which works with usb android 11 roms or you can also install your other cameras uh, the open camera or normal stuff if you like that user interface but i recommend gcam that should work if it works with the usb rom so yeah you can use that and about the basic features working stuff people will mostly ask me in the comments about volt and other stuff uh, volt works fine haven't checked wo wi-fi uh shit sorry let's check it straight away and i don't know if wi-fi works or not but yeah let's check it right in front now uh into i don't know where's the option sim card manager i guess in here um okay wi-fi calling is present here let's see if i turn on the device is there any notification or something uh, sorry not no notification a status bar thing to see that icon or something yeah i don't know if it works but yeah let's place a call so i'm placing a call here this is just my useless number so even if you guys call i am not going to answer so yeah okay i think wi-fi calling is okay it's not present it's not working right now but yeah you can check on your own i'm using airtel so i don't know if it works for airtel g or something like that it's specific but yeah right now it does not work like i have tested or if it was some other AOS, you know, it would have worked straight away but yeah it does not work in this port so i guess this is it and this is a you know theme drum you know you have this customizations like thing customized ui you have your music controller here so you can control music right away from the settings quick settings even if you don't have you have that widget right here and i don't think so you can customize that uh yeah i don't see anything to customize the quick settings or other stuff but yeah okay it's okay uh yeah that's how it is and if you like this video like every time you can press the like button or the dislike button if everything is appreciated here all your comments are appreciated just not some really bad and weird comments just don't do that you can comment anything uh, good review uh, good review means the all negative and positive points both just don't miss out anything and yeah stay happy and bye bye please guys take care and wear a mask covid is still on and we don't want it to go on uh, so yeah wear a mask just prevent it and that's how it will end it's all on us so yeah bye bye take care and i will see you guys in the next video and about the installation if you are wondering it's pretty easy just go to your recovery wipe stuff flash the rom flash magisk flash magisk afterwards which is preferable that will directly get you to the magisk app or it will just show not install and then you have to install the apk and all that stuff shitty stuff so yep that's it if you have any issues you can report it to the developer uh, it's in the telegram i will leave a link if you want but yeah that's it bye bye again take care and again bye bye